Today I'm in Birmingham, Alabama. I've come to check out Ensley Ironworks. It looks pretty big from the street. So I'm really excited to check it out. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a winner. This looks like an old ramp that used to be the uh, entrance to the Ironworks parking lot, which is totally overgrown. Here, you'll see the time card slots. So this building's massive, there's no doubt about that. But I don't know how many opportunities there are to really get some cool and unique shots. Um, and it's really dark. I mean, it's a bright day out, and it's dark in there. So that makes it a little tricky. I had uh, two ticks try to bite me. I don't like that one bit at all. I was smart enough to wear long pants, but I should probably find something for my arms. So this little room is actually really awesome. I love the fact that it says safety first everywhere. Um, and just the paint coming off the walls and it's just, it's really cool. If anybody knows what these baskets are with the hooks and pulleys, put it in the comments below.
this last building that I came into um, made the shoot possible. Um, I'm confident that I can have a great shoot here now that I found this building. And, uh, that's a relief because this place is huge and I was kind of counting on it to be really, really good and, and now I can. So Ensley Steel is exhausting. I've been here way longer than I expected to be, but I found some really awesome elements, and uh, it's really great to have like a steel plant because that's what um, Birmingham is all about. Steel. It was like founded on steel, and, and it would be great to have like a steel steel mill. So uh, I'm pretty confident I'm going to come back and shoot here. Today I'm in uh, Birmingham still, um, outside of the. W.J. Bullock Co. facility. Um, I don't know the history on it. I'll look it up or you can Google it. But it probably has something to do with steel. Um, you know, I usually don't comment much on the history of these places because I don't know all that much. Uh, my focus is primarily what's going to look aesthetically good for my project um, and not so much on the location's history and stuff. But it's always neat to to find out, so I'll check it out. Um, I'm just going to go inside and have a look. makes me think about bringing a model here, you know, how is that all going to work out? have been able to find out just from googling this place is that uh, WJ Bullock used to be a smelting and refinery plant um, so they used to deal with things like zinc and uh, copper and aluminum
apparently they were in operation for 90 years um, and they were like a huge employer in Birmingham and uh, you know brought a lot of economic prosperity to this area so when it closed you know the, the city definitely down the property has remained uh, available for sale um, it has a railroad track uh, it has two giant cranes um, and it's zoned for heavy industrial use so uh, if anybody's interested in purchasing the, pro the uh, property it's available I actually really like this place a lot um, and I have some serious thinking to do about exactly where I want to shoot. I just arrived in Tuscaloosa, Alabama to check out this place called the Jameson Center. Um, looks like I'm not the first person to come here. Access was super easy, just a road leading straight to the building and uh, I look forward to seeing what's inside. of mattresses. People used to sleep. Jameson Center has actually a couple different names, one of them being the old Bryce Hospital, which I think most people would know it as. So a little bit of history about the Jameson Center, also known as old Bryce Hospital. Um, it was built around the 1940s to uh, help relieve over congestion in other Alabama mental health facilities. It looks like this place operated as a work farm, as did a lot of the mental health facilities of that time. Um, this one in particular focused on African Americans, and uh, those who were able to uh, did a lot of work, and they produced food and things of that nature for the hospital. Um, until around 1977, where the labor laws changed, and uh, this facility was no longer able to operate in that fashion. There was 
also another facility built on this property that was used as a nursing home and that remained open until 2003 and I think that the nursing home is the building that I'm actually checking out right now. Entering into another part of the Jamison Center. Um, giant facility. Uh, maybe this was the nursing home, maybe this was the original facility, but it's different than the first building I was in. A lot bigger, but just one story. So we'll see what's up with this place. This place is definitely cool and I'm um, glad I stopped by, but as far as my project goes, you know, I kind of already feel like I've done a photo shoot here. Um, when I did a photo shoot at the Tuberculosis Hospital in Lima, Ohio, or the Forest Haven Asylum in Maryland. You know, these are very similar structures, uh, same level of degradation, and um, you know, once you've seen one room, you've seen them all. So. I could definitely do a shoot here, but I'm not going to because I have places like Ensley Steelworks, which is much more closely related to the history of Alabama, and uh, I think much better suited for this shoot. So that's probably where I'm going to shoot. I'm glad I stopped by here, though. Cool place. Check it out if you get a chance. So we just got done doing uh, the photo shoot here at Ensley Ironworks. Um, this place has so many amazing elements, you know, and it's just like a really great example of decay and like industrial decay especially. So there you have it, looking forward to showing you guys. Birmingham, Alabama, and I'm en route to Tennessee. Um, I wanted to give a special thanks to my couch surfing host, Amy, who uh, I didn't get to say goodbye to because she left me alone with the keys to her house for the last two days I was there. Um, so thank you for trusting me with your home and allowing me to stay. Um, the photo shoot in Birmingham went great. Uh, there were a lot of cool locations in Birmingham, and Birmingham was really a uh, cool little big city, or big little city, um, one of the two, take your pick of the variations. Uh, had a great time, and uh, now it's time to move forward with the project.